Just got to uh, London Heathrow, Terminal 4. Um, it is just gone half six in the morning. We was driving for just uh, just over two hours, I think. So uh, not too bad. Um, I'm so excited. I literally can't wait to get on the flight. But I'm gonna try and find my departure area and stuff because I'm terrible with things like this. And then um, I will update you guys as soon as I can really <laughs> but yeah um I'll see you in a bit so a uh, quick up get up I can't even speak a quick update for you guys I've just checked in at, um London Heathrow at gate C and now I'm departing at half nine so the time is now I think it's about seven so I've got a few hours um I'm just gonna chill go to the toilet probably have a coffee <laughs> but yeah um, I'm just glad everything's out of the way there was no problems with the bags that was all checked in fine I've got my hand luggage with my food in I've got my little handbag so yeah everything's everything's gone well so far fingers crossed it stays that way also shout out to Fitel representing the team and Ultimate Fitness thanks guys <laughs> But um, I'll probably check in with you guys one more time before I fly and then I will see you in Korea. We went through customs, um, then we walked through, I found my terminal, found my gate, I wanted to get everything sorted before we could kind of sit down, relax and vlog. Uh, the, the previous flight went really well, um, I flew with Etihad and they were a really great airline, um, made me feel so comfortable, offering loads of like, food and drink and everything. Oh, the crazy woman. I have to drink 10 litres today. So um, I didn't need any extra water. I had all of my water with me. Um, in UK time, it's now half, just coming up to half five. Um, in Abu Dhabi, they are three hours ahead. So half, it's coming up to half eight here. Um, I'm pretty tired, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the first floor it was, six hours 35 minutes from London to Abu Dhabi um, but in total I think my total travel time is 18 hours <laughs> something crazy like that so um, I'm here for two hours now <laughs> waiting I've got one more meal packed I've got I've drank seven litres so I've got three more to go I'm gonna kind of slow down now and pace it out a bit and I was kind of rushing at the start to make sure I got it all in but now I know it's okay so um, three more to go 
But yeah, that's all I think I could. I let, my mind is completely gone. I can't think of anything but I wanted to tell you. Um, so yeah, the floor was great. The aeroplane was really nice as well. It was very nice and spacious. I've never been on a long haul flight, so I don't really know how they should be. But from what I saw, that was a very nice airline. Um, uh, but I'm going to have a little look around at the shops and see if there's any like, souvenirs and stuff. So here's, here's my view at the moment. Some toys. Souvenirs. But yeah, so uh, I'm going to eat my meal and then I'm going to have a little look around. And I will vlog next when I land in Korea if I'm even awake because <laughs> I'll probably be sleeping because I'm so tired Look, the bags under my eyes are a joke but yeah um, I'll see you guys in Korea wish me a safe flight hi guys we finally made it we are in South Korea um, I'm currently waiting to get on a train so I can go and collect my bags but I am so tired. I've been traveling for, I think, 17 hours in total. And um, we had 14 hours on the flight, three hours uh, at like, the flight interchange. So it's been a long, long day. Um, I tried to sleep on the plane, but it was terrible and uncomfortable. So uh, I'm gonna meet the Korean organizers now, uh, get to the hotel, and probably just have a nap, to be fair. Um, have a catch up with Kerr. Oh. The trains here. <laughs> this is so strange. It's so weird being a different country. But uh, the train departed from the previous station. This is what I'm waiting at. But just to make sure I don't lose anything or miss anything, I'm going to stop the vlog here and I will catch up with you guys when I am all sorted out, relaxed, and in the hotel. See you later. safe and sound the PCA Korean organizers um, lovely enough found me at the airport and Karen picked me up sorry about how bad I look it's literally getting progressively worse each video but um, in Korea the time is now 20 past 2 so that means UK time it's about 20 past 7 let me check actually UK time it's now 20 past 6 um, I'm going to eat my first carb up meal, so that's a sweet one rice cake with uh, some sweet potato and avocado. I'm going to have that now. We was running a bit late. I was looking to get to the hotel for about uh, half two, but it's now half two. Um, we are waiting for Danny Thomas. You probably know him. He's the mental physique. Tall. Nope, short. I don't know. <laughs> He's the men's physique uh, British champion anyway. Um, so we're waiting for him to arrive at the airport and then we're all driving down to the city together instead of us, instead of them having to come back and forth. So I'm waiting for them, so that means I won't be getting to the hotel probably for about 6 p.m. So well, that's kind of ruined the plans. However, you know, everything's fine. I've got my food with me, kind of prepared. Um, it just means that things are a little bit off schedule. Uh, but that's okay. Still staying positive. I am past the point of being tired now. That's how far it's gone. Um, but from what I can see, this city is beautiful. Like, this country is amazing. Um, it's lovely weather as well. And there's me in a jumper and a hoodie and some big Adidas trainers. Uh, and it's such lovely weather, but um, I'm gonna go now anyway, enjoy my first meal of the day and uh, 
get all them carbs in. <laughs> but we'll catch up with you probably when we're at the hotel, when I'm with Kerry and we can kind of relax and just kind of speak a bit. So I'll see you later, bye. Quick update, quick update for you guys. I've just dropped avocado all over myself as I was trying to eat in the car. So uh, yeah, that's, that's always great in Korea. Looking like a tram, <laughs> as per. Well done, Vinny, so well done. in the hotel the time is now six o'clock we were sitting outside the airport waiting for Danny Thomas for literally like three hours <laughs> Kerry is here she's <laughs> she <looks> okay <laughs> <laughs> Kerry's just walked out naked <laughs> I know you all want to see that however <laughs> not today that's for the next video no I'm joking <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, the, ho the hotel room is surprisingly really nice. Me and Kerry booked it ourselves um, on the phone for like an hour trying to book it. <laughs> I don't know if you were seeing that. Um, but yeah, the hotel room is pretty nice. We've got our PCA Team GB hoodies. So they're looking pretty cool. Here you go. Gonna wear eight years. <laughs> she is, she is. But uh, yeah, so we'll probably wear those on the day of the actual show. But yeah, so I'm going to sleep now as requested from Claire. So I'm gonna get two hours in, try and lose some of this extra water. But I'll catch up with you later. Bye. Well, basically, I've gone out looking like an absolute pleb in socks, trying to find Kerry food because she's like dying of starvation. Um, so walking up and down the road trying to find a shop that sells chicken breast, unsuccessful. Um, and then also I had a bit of an issue with my food as well because my sweet potato has gone a bit mouldy. So I'm trying to message Claire, um, my coach, asking her what food I can have and I'm talking to her and I'm stressing and I'm putting everything down around me, not realising. I think I lost my purse, so I'm crying, having a panic attack, I'm running back down the road in the streets of Korea, back to the shop that me and Kerry went to to find my purse. I need to get a phone call from Kerry that it was in reception all along. So, <laughs> I've come back up to the hotel room. I'm kind of having a chill. Um, I'm going to keep my camera on me at all times now because I kind of want to capture all these... It seems like lots of funny things are going to be happening. So, um, hopefully not as stressful as what has just happened, but... Oh, she's back, she's back. Oh my God. She's back. Did you hey. get your chicken sorted? Oh my god, yeah, you can have your carbs next. Fat carbs anyway. But, uh, so Kerry's got a chicken. I'm eating I'm avocado. And you're getting carbs and fats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they were so friendly. Scales. Right, but okay. anyway, I'm we'll catch up in a bit. The drivers in Korea are absolutely savage. <laughs> so we're going to find me some carbs. Like, We've just been on the mission for Kerry's chicken. Oh now, now we're off again to find me some potatoes. Uh, but to be fair, it's quite a nice night. It's not cold. You can look at the previews whilst we're out. <laughs> Kerry, you're not one of the pretty views. <laughs> the place that we're in is called Gangnam. So like, every time we say it, we think of that song. Oh dear. But yeah, going to get some potatoes. We'll, uh, I'll vlog in the supermarket and show you the weird Korean food. And no offense if anyone's Korean and I said your food's weird. We just made it across the world's deadliest road ever. Uh, <laughs> and now we found potatoes. I think they're potatoes. I think they're purple potatoes. 
You know, you can get those, can't you? You can, yeah. Um, I'm just wondering, like, is one meant to be sweet potato? One. She said, get. That's an onion. Yeah, that that is an onion, Jerry. <laughs> What's this? This is oh, a white no. potato, isn't it? No, I knew you probably need this many. <laughs> 20 kg. Is that enough carbs, Claire? No. Are these potatoes as well? Uh, yeah. Struggles, the struggles. I'm going to ask. I'm going to go in and ask. I'm going to grab a bag so I can tap my skin. Guys, you probably think I'm actually stupid, but I just don't want to fuck up, you know. <laughs> so I think these are potatoes. I'm going to ask her. Right, guys, I found out they are sweet potatoes. I'm going to leave it there so I can pay. Be right back. Right, I put them in a basket. I'm just going to have a little look around at the other fun food they have. To be fair, it's mainly just like weird packaged meat and that makes me feel slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> um, oh, I know what I needed. I wanted some milk for my post-show treat. So I'm taking it that this is milk. Um, I'm going to go for, I'm guessing this is semi-skimmed. Yes, this is what I want. Milk. Okay. Oh, hi. Another update, we locked ourselves out of our hotel room. Things just keep getting better and better for us. <laughs> Thank you. The phone would have charged. But we have been, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we've been let back in now. Mission complete. I'm going to do a shopping haul shortly. Right, I couldn't resist buying some Korean treats whilst I was over here. So we got this mango cake. It says pastry with mango jam filling. Uh, if you know me, you love you know that I love mangoes. It's not my second favourite food, so can't get that. And then for my boyfriend, I thought I'd get him some little things as well. So I've got these. They're like little fluffy things. Everything in Korea is very fluffy. <laughs> yeah. So I've got these, and I think it might be filled with strawberry. I like strawberry stuff. Um, I've got these. They're like cookies and cream. And this is green tea flavour, which is a bit weird. Uh, so that's what I've got so far. Knowing me, I'm probably going to buy a lot more before I leave, but uh, that's currently what we got. I did get some things for myself for now. I got the two potatoes and also <laughs> some <laughs> and also some milk for post-show oats. But yeah, that's it. Going to get in the bath now, wash, shave, and go to bed. So, good morning guys, um, it's now Saturday, uh, to be fair we had quite an, an, an okay sleep, <laughs> me and Kerry was up until like 1 in the morning having a chat but then I got to sleep, we woke up again at about 3, I went pretty much straight to sleep, um, then we was up at 8, well just before 8 so, uh, more sleep than what I usually get anyway, um, however these boxes, I had a bit of a nightmare and my sweet potato went off on the plane. So, uh, as you saw from the last, I think I videoed it anyway, the last video was in the supermarket trying to find potatoes. But obviously we need them cooked. So the lovely hotel chef boiled my potatoes for me and he skinned them and chopped them up. So, uh, shout out to you, chef at Hotel Samjung. <laughs> um, oh, and these little boxes, they're so cute. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to weigh that out. And have that for the day. Hi well, guys, so um, we are waiting for our lift to go to the Coex venue. It's only around the corner from our hotel, and that's where we're going to be competing tomorrow. So I'm going to check that out. Kerry's already been; she went there yesterday. But um, we meet up with the rest of the team now, and we're going to have a look. Uh, we're in our team hoodies. He said Team GB. It's got our name on. Uh, so we really representing the team. Uh, me and Kerry actually just done two layers of tan on each other. So I tan Kerry, Kerry tan me. And surprisingly, you know, I'm not speaking too soon, but surprisingly it's actually gone really well. Um, so thanks to Liquid Sunrays for hooking us up with a tan, teaching us how to do it properly. Um, so hopefully when we get on stage tomorrow, we will be looking just as fresh as ever. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting at our hotel now for our lift. I don't know if you can see in the background. 
But our hotel is actually really beautiful. I'll give you a little tour actually. Let me just spin you around. So you come through the doors. That is very beautiful. And the first thing you see as you walk in is this bakery <laughs> full of like the best cakes ever. Let me show you. Look how great these cakes are. What? Me and Kerry have literally had our eyes on them the whole time. However, I'm carving up at the moment, so I'm fine. I'm happy with my sweet potato and rose cakes. <laughs> But yeah, so here is a little view of the hotel lobby. Also, there's some like, nice little stairway here. Um, the hotel restaurant is just over there. Just through there. But yeah, so we're waiting now. And I will catch you. I'll catch up with you guys once we reach the Coex and I'll do like a little tour of the Coex but I'll roll it in out. So see you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just arrived at the Coex. This is a beautiful venue. If you just want to have a little look around. We've got the PCA uh, Korean managers. Are you excited? You're excited. 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 Oh. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> but yeah, here is the first part of the venue. And tomorrow we'll be stepping here again, competing. In this amazing country, I still, I, like, I still can't believe it. Oh yeah, I can show them the back of your hoodie, Kerry. Huh? I can show them the back of your hoodie. There we go. Oh my god, so this, this is where we're going to be competing, guys. I think I'm going to cry. I feel really emotional all of a sudden. I'm turning to Kerry yesterday. Literally meltdown Kerry, that's like my little Oh my god. Here we are, everybody. This is where we're going to be stepping on stage. Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh, oh, okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah? Hi. Tired? Oh, uh, no. I'm no, energy. No, Best you're project. excited. <laughs> Best condition. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Oh. 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 at the bakery again guys but we've just found this is actually a sweet potato cake currently I am carving up on sweet potatoes so Claire what do you think about <laughs> this I'm pretty sure it's the same thing bro no but that is actually amazing sweet potato cake so cool so guys that's a wrap for today um, we had a nice look at the coex watching them set up the venue we got to spend time with the other athletes and you know all the PCA career managers and presidents 
But no, we've had a really nice day. We got to, me and Kerry just had a little walk around the city in the night time. Uh, and this is literally such, it's such a beautiful city. The, like, the lights and everything, it's so beautiful. Um, I did put, I took a few pictures and I think I might have posted an Instagram story so you might have saw that. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys our hotel in the night from the outside. And it's actually stunning, look. And it's so surreal that we're actually here after all the weeks, all the struggles that we've been prepping and the amount of emotional times I've had and the amount of times I thought I'm not going to be able to make it and that I'm not ready, I'm not good enough. But look, we actually did it. I'm actually standing here. And tomorrow, probably in about 24 hours from now, I'm going to be stepping on that career stage with some of the best athletes in the world. And just that alone is an achievement. I've achieved my goals. I'm so happy with my physique. My, feet, my physique's been the best it's ever been. Um, and that was my main goal, really, was to kind of beat my previous self. And that's all you can do, is keep improving, making personal progression. But yeah, me and Kerry are gonna go, chill, have our wine soon. Uh, but yeah, I might catch up later, as we're having our wine, just as we winding down. Sorry about the noise. Or if not, I will see you tomorrow on D-Day. And yeah, so I'll, then next time I see you, I'll be in my bikini. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed following this journey. Thanks for all the support and messages. And uh, I will see you in the next clip. Can I just add something? Oh. In the next clip, you're going to see her drunk. It will <laughs> no! not be in a bikini. <laughs> we'll see about that, guys. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs>